I'm working on a project and it's kind of like I'm trying to leverage AI a little bit more than I have been after some recent conversations and I just want to give you guys a quick little rundown as far as what's going through my mind. So I've used ChatGPT, which is pretty solid for certain things and things like that. I'm a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, so it's like 20 a month or something. Uh, it gives you a couple extra benefits. It's pretty good. Uh, I learned about Claude from Anthropic AI recently, and I realized that it does a little bit more. There's kind of like an artifacts feature or something where you can like, you you prompt it, we'll show a little bit, you prompt it, and then it gives you like, you could literally ask it to build you like a full website. And it's not really gonna build you like a full website, but it literally does code right in front of you, and it will show you the end result. You're good to take the code and do whatever you want with it and all that. What I wanna do here specifically though, is I think something that's kind of interesting and I see it utilized in many different ways. For me, my goal is to build a, I want, I'm in the middle of building my own, my own personal site, revamping it and doing those types of things. I'm a terrible designer and I have a lot of information, but I need to like organize it and I need to present it in a good way. And I'm also not really a copywriter, even though I could get by like doing that because it's my own voice and stuff like that. But the, but the quick thing I wanna show you here is I want to th I want you to think of this in two ways. One, for like a personal brand that you may develop or for like a client project that you would be doing or I mean even your, your, your own brand, doesn't have to be a personal brand. But here's what I did. So you can get Claude and you can have like the, 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 the free plan is, is great, but I just upgraded to the pro plan over here as well. It's $20 a month. What that, th what that gives you is this concept of projects, okay? And if you're not familiar with Claude, it's, if you're familiar with ChatGPT at all, it's the same type of thing. You, you type in here, you'd say like, you know, hey, when was da da da, whatever, and it'll spit out some stuff, it's fine. It's good, it works. But this idea of projects is, I'm pretty sure just a paid feature. And this is where ChatGPT, I think, kind of has this a little bit, but I think this kind of takes a little bit to another level. And go look at the other platforms too. I'm not just trying to shout out Claude here, but this is the one I'm using. So look at, look at what I'm able to do here. And, and I'm gonna explain to you what this brought up to me in my head. With projects, you're al you're able to now kind of create like a specific database, almost like I guess maybe like a custom GPT like people have or whatever, but here's the idea. You wanna make like a, you don't want to, the problem with AI is people don't really know how to use it yet. They don't know how to prompt engineer, they don't know how to like create a an environment that is conducive to getting good answers out of the thing, right? Unless they're like simple answers. So if you pop into Claude right now on the free version, and you say, who is Mark Szymanski? Okay, it's gonna tell you it doesn't know who the hell I am, right? Because I'm not a prominent enough figure. And again, if you if you ask it, who is your brand or what is your brand? Unless it's like a big brand, they're not gonna know. But that doesn't mean that it can't know who you are. So with this projects thing, it's kind of like your own little personal project, personal memory bank. And then you create one. So I've created one like just Mark Szymanski personal brand. And my thought here is it's a collection of information all about me. The idea is for Claude to always know who exactly like I am, what I'm up to, and constantly reference this information when I want to, to get something out of it. So I'll know. So if I jump into here, now you'll see a few things. Over on the right hand side, this is where you upload pretty much the I'm gonna call it a database, it's not really like a database, but like this is where you upload the content. So for instance, let's say that you like wrote a biography or you had a bunch of information about yourself. You could upload that. It doesn't even need to be like, I don't think straight up text because you can add like uh, text content or you can add, add files or whatever. You can upload things so then this project, you know, siloed in this project, they know everything about you or your brand. So in my case, I have like, I made like a spreadsheet where on one column is like an event date. And then on the right hand is like what happened. So for instance, like I was born on this day, I was, you know, I started my business on this day. There's like a hundred lines in there, okay? And I'll talk about that in a different video, but I wanna try to keep this one short. I know it's getting long already. So you, I have all that in there. And just simply with that one file uploaded it, literally just uploaded basically in plain text, Claude now knows a ton about me. So that's involved in this project. And then I asked it, hey, who is Mark Szymanski? And up here, I asked who is Mark Szymanski before, before I put that in and said, I don't know who Mark Szymanski is, makes total sense. And then after I asked, and now it's like, it knows a lot of stuff about me because I told it about me. Now again, this isn't, I'm not, this isn't, I'm not saying this is like groundbreaking. I'm just trying to explain AI and prompting and getting actual good information out of this stuff in a way that hopefully more people will understand because this is still kind of like a new frontier and everything like that. What I'm saying is there's a lot of ways to leverage this that I'm trying to do more so for myself and hopefully uh, this will benefit you guys as well. Because again, if you're working on a client project, you could just get all the information from them, dump it into a Claude project, 
as an example, and then start prompting. Be like, hey, based on all this information, um, give me some some copy for something or start to summarize like things that you'd want. Or you could say like probably, I mean, I don't know, I'll do this live. Like, okay, uh, create a, uh, if I could type, create a um, basic homepage uh, layout uh, with some of this info for Mark's uh, you know, website or something like that. Okay. And then depending on what it's going to do here, I'm not sure what it does in this thing. It might start. Yeah. It start. It's literally, again, this is like literally you could say, look, we're coding now. We're coding now. Okay. It's kind of cool. So it's going to do all this and then it's going to spit out a little bit of a preview. And again, you could just, you could like download this code and use it, but I mean, you know, sick. I mean, that's not, I'm not saying like you would download and use that necessarily just like that, but you could do something if you wanted, like, uh, you know, just to get some inspiration and it's just going to continue to evolve. But the project thing specifically is now I can, it, and that was just one file. Okay. That was, that was a hundred <laughs> like rows of an Excel doc. Okay. So I'm going to add more things. I might be able to add pictures. I'm not hundred percent sure. Don't quote me, but I'm going to add, I'm going to add like all the information about me that I know. And then you got to think of this as like, Claude is like an intern that you've hired that knows everything about you or your business. And then you could just ask it to produce stuff. And the only other thing that I want to show is there's there's set custom in instructions here that you don't have to do. But on this, I could probably say, this is more of, I think like kind of like a prompt, like an overall prompt, like so instructed with prompts, like uh, use a professional tone, use concise and simple wording. So if you have a particular voice, the next iteration of this, I don't know if you can do it now. The next iteration is I already have, as an example, a ton of content out on the internet. Like I am who I am and I put that on, on the internet. If I can get Claude to look at that information and just kind of like replicate me, it can almost make like a, like a, you know, an artificial version of me. And I know there's already things like that where you can do like an AI chat bot of yourself, but you know, I'm doing it just like directly in here right now. So I don't know where this is going to go. I just hope, you know, you guys got some you know, the gears turning a little bit here on this, um, this quick example here, but I'm gonna play around with this and I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated on more stuff to come, but AI is interesting. We're on, like I said, we're on the frontier right now. I feel like with some of the stuff, um, but you know, hopefully you can get ahead of the curve and start to understand how to use it and leverage it to, um, you know, build cooler websites, do cooler projects, make more money, whatever it is. Um, I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Talk to you in the next one.